Can you hear me? Uh, can you see the screen? Screen. Uh, okay, good. This is my class last night. Uh. Okay. Uh, first thing first. Uh. We have test next week, Tuesday. Okay. Any question about the test before I... Proceed to the next uh, topic. Huh? Any question? Remember the test is at 8. I will start inviting you maybe 10, 15 minutes before that. Hmm. You make sure you write down your matrix number on top of the pages that you plan to uh, use for the test. And then if you think you need a graph paper, you can get ready with the graph paper. Any question? Semua dah pandai dah? Everybody can do it already. Very confident. Huh? Skandar tu no sir apa tu? Not confident ke? No question. Next week will be a week, week what? Week 11 or week, week 12? I cannot remember. I cannot. Huh? Week 12, dear. Yeah? Oh. It's quite late, dear, oh, yeah, for the test, actually. Never mind. How many questions? How many you want? <laughs> we have one question. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Eh? J, K, L, M. So don't worry about it. Eh? If only A, I can make one question and it's going to be very long. Well, uh, I can make two question, uh, two que three questions and very short. But the thing is that the time is good enough. Uh, the time is good enough for you uh, to write down. Uh. If it is not enough, then I will do some adjustment later on. Hmm. But I think it's good enough. Because I have been teaching the course for how many years already? Uh? The same standard. And some more, you are doing at home. Huh? At home. When it is not enough, when you try to open up the book here and there, trying to get information, trying to understand, and it's not enough. You, If you do it huh? straight away continuously, the time is more than enough. Azik, I'm in attendance, Azik. Don't forget. Okay, any question? No question? Okay, if there is no question, I told you already, uh, it's analysis. Uh. Analysis means what? Analysis means calculation and explanation. Okay. 
this analysis yeah from cpm uh, till last tuesday class site supervision in it so it is not that much of coverage also huh? you check the book is only chapter 8 and 9 eh yeah ke betul kan 8 and 9 kan cpm you got pert huh? and then we got a tracking eh we got a supervision okay So, if there is no question, can I continue with the class? Okay. Today's topic about estimate. Eh? Uh, estimate. Siapa baru masuk ni? Amirul Lama. Estimate. Huh? What is estimate? Tak masuk lah Iskandar kau ni. Kena cakap sampai last teach day class. Estimate baru hari ni. <laughs> okay. Test sampai last Tuesday class. Huh? Anggaran. Huh? Anggaran. Huh? Anggaran. So, estimate. When do we do the estimate? Huh? When do we do the estimate? The, uh, we start doing the estimate at the very stage, at the conceptual stage we have started already. At the conceptual stage, we do estimate, which is called early estimate. Early estimate. Huh? Early uh, means early. Is the, this is the earliest stage in the Project life cycle. So, what happened during conceptual stage? What happened? Ingat tak? Hmm? What happened during conceptual stage? Life cycle. Hmm? Remember? What happened? Planning, no? Planning is, is after conceptual. What happened in conceptual stage? Anybody? Huh? Budget, yeah, what happened during that stage? Hmm? Idea design, huh? Okay, what eh? What should happen during the stage? What actually happened? What actually happened? Project brief. Okay. Okay, summary of project. So, how do you want to explain at this stage? At this stage is when the project just born, baru lahir, give birth to the project, baru, it's just idea. Client just go and see the consultant. I have this project. Huh? So, of course, you have the project brief. Huh? Summary is project brief. What kind of project do you want? Oh, I want to build a bungalow, two-story bungalow, five bedrooms, huh? blah, 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 blah. In this area, you ask, start asking, what is the finishing slide? Huh? Uh, okay, then, then, the concept, then you calculate the early estimate. Huh? Uh, of course, the consultant will ask you, how much is the estimate, early estimate? estimate so this early estimate 
How do you do? Normally, we check from the from the history. Similar similar project. Similar project. Huh? Similar project. Oh, Banglo. Two story uh, bangi area, for example. Huh? Bangi area dekat normal. Huh? Normal finishing, blah, 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 blah. The similar size, you try to get the area of the Banglo. Huh? How many square foot is the area? Huh? Huh? Then, you get the per decimate per area, square area. Huh? Normally, this kind of bungalow, huh? per square per square meter is about 120 ringgit. Per square feet is about, uh, per square meter is about, let's say, 1,000 ringgit. Per square feet is about 100 ringgit. Huh? So, then you calculate the area is about, let's say, 10,000 square feet. That's about 1 million. Uh, so, uh, means what? Huh? It is, or oh, it is a rough estimate. It's a rough estimate. Uh, Okay. Similar si similar specialties, similar building. If it is bridge, you start us for the usage. Eh? Usage. Capacity. Eh? Usage. Uh, for example, uh, uh, where is the bridge? The bridge is for root one. Root 1 is what? Uh, how many tons lorry can pass through? Huh? Blah, 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 blah. What type of bridge? Huh? Uh, so, oh, last time nearby there, similar bridge. Which this type of bridge? Huh? What is the cost per square meter uh, for this usage? For highway, is different. For kampung road, is different. The same thing for road. Is it uh, village road? Is it factory? Is it whatever it is? Huh? Huh? Then for the mosque, for example, huh? How do people do people uh, how uh, do people estimate for the moss? Uh, anybody? Moss? Early estimate? Anybody? May I guess for the moss? Uh, based on population, based on the capacity, eh? Uh, I think it's it means what? How many people? The mosque can cater. One thousand people, six hundred people. Huh? Of course, we check with the standard. Eh? Uh, what standard are you talking about? Huh? Is it normal mosque? Is it beautiful mosque? Is it uh, uh, masjid jami? Is it just normal surau? Uh, of course, you see the mosque around our area here, or uh, even the surau around our area is different if you go to the surau in the inner side of Kedah, for example. Huh? Uh, over here, when you mention about surau, uh, even my surau here is millions. Eh? It's, it's bigger than the mosque in my kampung in Johor, uh, my surau. Huh? Uh, so, uh, there's a difference. Eh? The standard, what kind of standard are you looking at? The same thing for the house, what kind of standard are you talking about? If you are talking about the house uh, bungalow at uh, country height there, of course the taste will be different. Huh? So it's got a different different standard. Huh? Okay. Any questions so far? This is how we do early estimate. Huh? <laughs> Masjid Sendayan is different. Eh? Uh, it's expensive. This is different standard, uh, different taste. So you have to see the needs of the client. Huh? The needs of the client at least this. Huh? Of course, Mr. Sid Sendayan, uh, Tan Sri Rashid Hussein will say, huh? I want the mosque is just like the mosque in Medina, uh, but a small scale. Uh, you start go to check in Medina, they have kind of finishing. Huh? So it's going to be different. Huh? Why, uh, why it is very important, the first uh, stage of uh, estimate? Huh? This is why uh, this at the stage when we just want to start the the 
the work of designing huh? means what we have to understand we have to let the client know we have to have a common understanding what kind of facilities or structure that the client want must be the same as in our mind huh? what is in his mind must be the same as in our mind otherwise huh? people want to do a banglo huh? he is thinking of a banglo which is a very high standard huh? Huh? and we give him estimate of low standard huh? uh, suddenly we keep the drawing huh? we call for the tender the price is too high huh? so all the drawing that we have done will be thrown huh? yeah, in the basket tak boleh pakai so that's why this is very important huh? it's very important why at this stage decision will be made whether the project is huh? decision from this one from this estimate we got a decision whether the project is on or not huh? on or not huh? especially politician huh? Huh? politician huh? Uh, the last time the menteri besar melaka ketua menteri melaka huh? during malaysia national time huh? did he mention that okay we want to build a bridge from melaka to indonesia oh melaka to indonesia he announced that so he asked jkr to do it to do the estimate because oh cost few billion so call off uh, it's not on uh. okay at this stage people still coming eh? at this stage it is very important for the client to know whether he has enough money or not to proceed huh? they said i want to build a school with 1000 students intake huh? so you let the politician know 1000 student intake last time we do it nearby here blah 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 will cost 10 million huh? oh the budget is only 6 million so we cannot do that uh, uh, so we have to scale down the size of the project uh, okay and the question that's early estimate the question semua tidur ke You punya presiden Akmal tidur ke? Mana presiden you? Senyap ya? Tidur lagi? <laughs> so, if decision is no, means we do some adjustment. For example, people come, oh, I want to do five stop, five uh, bedroom, two story building. Uh, then you do the estimate, uh, for this cost one mil. Ah, I said, it's beyond my budget because we are budgeting for 600,000 only. So you start revising it. You tell your client that for 600,000, you will get this type of house. It's only, uh, since you have a big land, you can do single story uh, so that we don't have a suspended floor is cheaper single story uh, and then we can do four bedroom only uh, then uh, uh, then you have to combine your children uh, share rooms blah 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 you have to cut off you have to get you have uh, you have to cut down the landscaping blah 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 and then you can do it later on when you have the money uh, things like that huh? hmm. then he agreed then only we can start proceed with the next stage of project life cycle, which is designing. Hmm. Okay. Any other question?
In the question, we have 48 student Aziz, huh? in the class. Semua dah sign attendant. Okay, you everybody can follow the net. If you uh, this uh, particular online class, you can use your phone. If your line in the house is not clear, eh? you can go get out from the house and listen to the lecture uh, and uh, bring a piece of paper to take note. Okay, then after we have then done that, uh, can I erase this one? Can I go to the uh, to the next uh, to, uh, estimate? Can I raise this one? Okay. Everybody understand what is early estimate now? Okay, assuming that we have done all these things, uh, we have a, an agreement with the client. After the estimate, we, what? we have an agreement with the client. Uh, then, finally, agreement with the budget. We have agreement with the budget. How much with the client? Budget. Uh, and have agreement with the project brief. Uh, brief. We have already dis discussed. Both is okay already. Done. Both is done. Means what? We can proceed to the next level. Huh? What's the next level after the conceptual? What's the next level? What's the next level after the conceptual phase? Nazri, huh? what's the next level? Mana Nazri, tidur? Tidur Nazri? Azrai, Azrai. Huh? Aida, Aida ada Aida. What's the next level after conceptual Aida? Ada pun tak ada. Tidur juga. Ada. Where are you, Ada? Makno, mana Ada, Makno? Oh, panjang lah. Saya tak tengok bawah. Okay, okay. Design. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, ada dah. Okay. Okay. The next stage is design. Uh, I, I didn't scroll down just now. Sorry, eh, student. I didn't scroll down. Eh. Uh, what's that? Itulah. Ada. Eh, ada. Okay. After that will be design means we have the budget we have the brief we start designing based on the brief based on the budget okay once we have done the design now design done what's the next stage huh? putri what's the next stage putri Putri tidur ke? Fazli tolong jawab. Hmm? Hmm. Ya, yeah, we have to prepare the tender documents. Huh? Call it tendering stage. Huh? Tendering stage means we have to call the tender. So, once every draw, once the drawing is completed, huh? We have to do another estimate during tendering stage, which is called, of course, tender estimate. Hmm. So now, 
Now this time is no more based on the square feet area. It is based on the drawings and spec. Drawing and specs. Huh? We do based on first principle. This one you have done in your in your BQ class with Dr. Nozul. Remember that? You calculate the, you take off the BQ, you get the material, it's first principle, yeah? and then you got the label, What else? What else? What else? Material, labor, how to do the estimate, what else you do? Machinery. And then, what else? You have to get the, it's one, method of construction means all things. You have to plus the profit of the contractor. Reasonable profit. That will be your uh, estimate. Uh, material, level, machineries, method of construction of all this one, how do you want to carry out? And you have to add the profit for the contractor. Reasonable profit. Uh, that will be your estimate. Everybody with me? So now, what is the purpose of this estimate? Of this estimate, just now the conceptual is whether it is on or off. So, what is the purpose of this estimate? You should remember from the class last time. What is the purpose of this estimate? Client the division money. Okay, what else? Hi, Rina just joined. What is the purpose of this estimate? Ah, pandai puzzle. Huh? To know the right contractor group. Hmm, that's one thing. Because you want to call for the tender. Huh? One is, of course, to get the group, huh? contractor, uh, right group, huh? to get the right group. Okay. What else? Then client, to, to inform the client now, what's your estimate? Okay. What else? What else? Project with the client budget, okay, sama dengan client. Okay, good. What else? Okay, this estimate done by you, actually, I would like to let you know, you have to do it very professionally and independently. Okay, after you call the right group of contractor, let's say the, the budget for the bridge is 6.5 million, then you call grade 6 contractor. Huh? Grade 6 contractor. That's about 6 million. Grade 6 contractor. Okay, so in during this tendering stage, uh, you ask them to submit the price before the closing date and time of the tender, isn't it? Okay, okay. You, as an engineer working in the consultant office, you have to throw in to put in your tender price before the before the closing also. Together with the contractor. Are you with me? Everybody? Are you with me? You understand that? Okay. You have to throw it. Why? 
because this estimate is going to be used as basis for tender evaluation tender evaluation huh? after the contractors throw in all the tenders form remember in your tendering stage one of your task is to evaluate the tender and make recommendation to the client which is the most suitable contractors that you think give the most competitive price and reasonable which can complete the job remember or not okay so let's say uh, why this is important you have done your estimate correctly you have done this one correctly huh? you've done your estimate correctly huh? okay and your estimate is let's say uh, about six million uh, i'm using my uh, mouse eh? six million eh? there's six million eh? then you have a lot of tenders the lowest tender is three million uh. Are you going to recommend to your client the cheapest three million to do the job? It's the question. Are you going to recommend to your client the cheapest contractor which give the price of three million? No, isn't it? Why? Because it is far, far off than your estimate. Means what? You suspected the contractor must have missed something. Huh? If you give to him. Uh, you are going to land into trouble. Uh, definitely the contractor cannot do it. No. No. The quest I give you the scenario just now. Your six million is reasonable or it doesn't make sense. Huh? It means too far off. Uh, huh? means what? So this is the purpose of tender estimate. Means what? To serve as a basis for tender evaluation. Huh? We'll talk about tender version later on. Huh? Uh, just want to introduce to you about this tender estimate. Okay? Are we done with this? Are, are, we, are we okay with this tender estimate? So any question? Your president is not coming yet, huh? Any question? Any question? No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Now, now we have done the. Tender evaluation, we issue LA already. Huh? We issue LA already. Okay. Now, in the tendering form, what is captured as far as price is concerned is only the construction cost. Huh? I repeat again. Huh? In the tender process submitted by the contractor, submitted by the contractor, the cost that is captured in that particular process is only construction cost, which is submitted by the contractor. Are you with me? But there are other costs involved for the project which is not captured yet 
Okay. Okay. And now we already know the actual price submitted by the contractor. So that tender price become a bit more accurate now. Huh? Accurate now, eh? Tender price become accurate now. Huh? Uh, we could choose the contract already. So we have the construction cost. And we have other costs. What are the other costs apart from the construction cost? Any, any guess? We have other costs. Siapa boleh jawab? Overhead what? Other costs that need to be paid by the client, apart from construction costs. Construction costs means covered already by the contractor, it's captured already, dah kena tangkap dah. Material is already done there by the contractor, sudah submit the tender price, means everything, including material, machineries, all this construction costs. Apart, other than construction costs that we have to pay the contractor, that the client got to pay the contractor, what are the other costs? Over and above that, construction costs. Construction fee, okay, you are right. Huh? Means what? The client got to pay the consultant. That's consultancy fees. Okay, permit fees, they have to pay for the permit to the majlis perbandaran. Then, contribution fees, uh, you have to pay to the contribution to the utility. It means the water supply, uh, uh, the electricity, they have to pay that. Who is going to pay? The client. What else? Huh? Sewerage, eh, to connect the line into the sewerage, you have to pay. All other costs must be captured. So, before the start of the project, you must, we must get the total cost of the project and let the client know what is the total cost of the project now. Huh? It become more detailed now. That is called, I, 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 I go to the new file, eh, is it? Uh, okay. New file, don't see it, huh? that is called A T D A. I put it today. What's it today? After that. A standard detail abstract. It's not in the book. Huh? So this will be. This will include standard price by the contractor. And all other costs to be paid by a client, to be covered by client by a client. The emission just now. All other costs. Plus contingencies.
Okay. You have covered all. Huh? So what is contingency? Any question? Any answer? Emergency. Huh? What else? Emergency. Backup plan. Good. Mm. Contingency to cover for uncertainties. Hmm? Uncertainties. So, any question now? Okay. How much is the contingency? How much is the contingency? I think we have in your book. Huh? Estimate is I'm talking at your book. So how much contingency you think? 10%? Why 10%? Chapter what an estimate? Oh, your book ada juga estimate. Eh? So, contingency, there are various ways to uh, calculate for the contingency. Eh? Of course, the first simple, as what we have uh, proposed just now, is rough estimate. Estimate. Means what? Provide, as you said just now, certain... Percentage of total project, project cost, huh? of total project cost. Huh? Huh? It's a 10 million, provide 5%, 50,000, huh? just like that. This is rough estimate, this contingency, huh? this one way of doing it. Huh? For small project, you can do that. But then if the project is 1 million, don't tell me you want to give 100, 100 million. You have to be more accurate. Eh? To be more accurate. Eh? It's one way rough estimate. Because eh? by now, uh, we want to let the client get prepared with the money. Understand? For this uh, estimate. Eh? Second, second, first is rough estimate. Eh? Second one is your book is in your book also is based on the expected net risk. Eh? Expected expected net risk. You are talking about probability now. Eh? Rough probability. Expected net risk. Okay. Let's say. Eh? Can, can I erase this one because I'm... Huh? Can I erase this one? I go to the next page. Eh? Can, I, can I erase this one? Okay. Bye. Open. Azik, uh, take the second round of attendance. Azik. Oh, second, uh, second hour today. Eh? Ah, okay. Expected net risk analysis. Eh? One example, okay. Let's say you are doing a bridge, for example, the bridge. Eh? You have the as work. Piling, superstructure. Oh, 
Spell cap. Spell cap, eh? Is it? Spell cap, suppose it? Spell cap. Hmm. And column. Superstructure. This beam, eh? And then root and slab. Simple eh? and slab. Okay. You have this item. Okay. Then you have your base estimate from your BQ. Uh, your base estimate means uh, from the tender price. Eh? Base estimate. Base, your base estimate. Eh? Let's work, let's say, 100,000. Okay. Finding, let's say, uh, 150. This one, let's say, file cap is, uh, let's say, 120. Suppose such a, let's say, uh, 200. Let's say, yeah, 200. Okay. Then, as work, because there's a lot of uncertainty here, as work. How bad can it go? Means, how bad can it go? Huh? Highest it can go. Let's say as well, highest is 120. Huh? Uh, piling uh, can go to up to 100 because we don't know. Piling risk is high. Huh? Uh, pile cap, it can go to 140. This worst case scenario. Superstructure, uh, we know superstructure, there is not much of risk. Huh? Uh, 210 only the highest you can go. It's the maximum you can go. Okay. So now, the risk, how much is the risk now? The risk is different here. Here is 20. The highest risk is, is 50. Here is 20. Here is 10. Okay. Now, you ask yourself, huh? looking at this scenario, what is the probability that this risk can happen uh, probability percentage of probability huh? what is the probability for the earth's work let's say the risk is 10 percent only huh? uh, for piling the risk is let's say 15 percent huh? for pile cap 10 percent uh, uh, for the road and slab is quite certain really highest the risk is only five percent huh? So now your expected net risk here is uh, expected net risk here is ten percent out of twenty is zero point one times twenty is two fifteen out of fifty how much zero point one five times five Rapa? Uh, are you following me? Is this one? 0 0.15 times 5 times 50, bro? 7. 1.5. Then 10% of 20? How much? 2. Okay. Five or ten? Zero point zero five times ten? Come on. Slap, how much? Zero point five. So your total contingency will be how much? Twelve, what hundred and twenty thousand? Is that right? Okay. Okay. Everybody follow me. This is called expected net risk analysis. So you add this amount as contingency into the project. 
you to your client no your budget is about 2 million you add another 120000 so 2.120 million huh? after including all that one okay okay everybody follow If your project is very big, uh, which you will not be exposed to it unless uh, you work with a very big company doing big project. It's got about MRT, you are talking about uh, oil and gas, which have high risk, uh, high uncertainty, high risk. Uh, a lot of factors involved. Of course, you use more advanced uh, analysis, which is called simulation. Uh, Have you, have you ever heard about simulation? Have you ever heard about simulation? Simulate. What's the meaning of simulation? Anybody? Any answer? Anybody know about simulation? Means what? You simulate the scenario. Uh, you create a scenario, simulate. It's this happened, what's going to happen? So it is done. It is being done by a software, complicated software simulations. Huh? So this is very popular uh, way of analyzing things that is not uncertain to forecast what is going to happen. I give you a simple example now. The bank now is having problems, okay, about the future that they don't know. Huh? They don't know. So they don't know actually how much loan is going to become a bad loan. How many people is going to be affected by the COVID-19 and they cannot pay the loan on time after the moratorium monetarium is over in october huh? they have to plan for that huh? so they will use this simulation program the most popular one last time was monte carlo approach monte carlo huh? monte carlo simulate if this happened this is going to happen seven things happen to check how much debt will become a bad debt that cannot be paid by the borrowers so they have to get prepare with their money if they cannot pay what will happen to the cash of the company eh, of the bank eh? can is the bank is going to have problems and how many people are going to withdraw the money because people want to withdraw the money and the bank cannot pay uh, that will be a problem so they do these simulations uh, are you with me everybody the same thing in construction you simulate what happened if it's going to be rain during that time. What happened if the pile cannot reach the hard rock? What happened? Blah, 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 blah. So they do all the simulation. This is a very complicated kind of things. Huh? So they run, they call iteration. A lot of, a lot of cycle. Huh? And in Monte Carlo, thousands of iteration. Huh? A lot of probability. They combine huh? uh, a lot of possibility, a lot of scenarios. Huh? Then you can come with the more detailed analysis of contingencies are you with me everybody of course i don't expect you to know this one in detail i just want to introduce the, you the term of simulating and estimating huh? you just want you have to know that huh? so you know a simulation now so now there are three ways of uh, budgeting for the contingencies Okay, any question? So now, uh, we go back. Huh? We have three type of estimate just now. A 
Okay. Uh, hi Rina. Ah, uh, dia baru masuk tadi. What are the three type of estimate? Hi Rina. Fazli, tolong girlfriend you Fazli. Dia baru masuk tadi. Huh? What's your three type of estimate? Eh, Fazli ni girlfriend dia Harina kan? Fazli. Ke? You dah keluar pula? Are you around Fazli? Hmm. Okay. What are the three type of estimate? Estimate not contingency. Or the tax or estimate. Come on. Hmm, mana ada conceptual hari ni? Okay, first is what early. Then, then the. Then, then, why is that? Huh? Why is that? Hmm. Early estimate, then estimate, why is the last one? Come on. We just discuss the last estimate. Oh, hey. three type of estimate, the last estimate, why is, why is that? Anissa, last estimate apa dia? Don't tell me you forget all these things. Huh? You have early estimate, tender estimate, the last thing, come on. We have done three process of estimate. One is early estimate and then tender estimate. Ah, Anissa Jiha, huh? you tak tidur. Huh? Okay. Which is... ATDA. Tidurlah korang ni. Penat je lecture dia ajar. Huh. Okay. Early estimate, if you remember, apa dia? Done during the conceptual stage. During the conceptual Tender estimate dan during the Come on Cepat, cepat, cepat Tender estimate Tender estimate Tendering stage Okay, she can Tendering stage ATDA ATDA When do we do the TDA? TDA? When do we do the TDA? When? 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 Uh, after choosing the selected contractor. Okay. Before. After. After. LA. Before. Start. Okay, so you know the purpose of this one. This one is to go or not go. Oh, or not. But go or not. Eh? This one is group of, to determine the group of contractor and also to evaluate. This one is to actual cost before, to let the container actual cost before the construction. Because cover all costs. Okay. 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 Okay, now. We talk about the accuracy now. Oh, accuracy. Eh?
Remember how do we do this one? Early stage, early conceptual, uh, early estimate, it is based on historical. Remember just now? What else? Similar. Then, capacity. What else? Huh? Standard. Huh? Let's go and go. So, is it very accurate? Accuracy? No, huh? not so. Sometimes people go up to 40%, 50%. Huh? Accuracy, yeah. Uh, but when you have done the estimate on during tendering stage based on the document, it should be around 10 to 15 percent accuracy. Hmm. Yeah. When you come to ATDA, it should be more accurate yeah, because it cover all costs. Cover all costs. Huh? Just imagine. Yeah. You have include of course you also include the uncertainty in the contingency. Even if there is not enough, then the project will be a burden halfway because not enough money. So it's very accurate really to us at the last stage. Of course, in this one contingency, you have to include contingency, and we have three way of doing the contingency estimate. Contingency is only done at the ATDA. Because here we're talking about 40, 50 accuracy, you just throw in already contingency here. You don't know. Huh? Okay. Any question? We have one more of doing estimate, which is called feasibility studies. Uh, there's a different type of estimate. That one, I think I will give you after the test next week, uh, for one hour lecture, next Thursday, next week. Any question so far? Kenapa certain bangunan terbengkalai? Because the contractor maybe cannot do the job and the client doesn't have enough money to continue with the job. Uh, for example, developer kan? Uh, developer, they have done the estimate, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so they are, uh, in their, we talk later on feasibility study, eh? feasibility study, we talk question eh, firstly. They say that the, build, the, the unit can be sold. Uh, they bought, uh, for example, two blocks of condominium. Uh, they are 500 unit. Uh, so they said the budget is uh, 500 million. They can sell for 600 million. They can make 100 million in three years' time. Uh, so how do they get the money? They get the money from selling the unit uh, to the buyer. Lah. People will buy the house. Then they will get the money from their progress, the developer. Once they progress, they will claim from the client. Client take the loan from the bank. Yeah? The bank will pay them. Yeah? But they started the project before they even sold all the unit. Yeah? They should have start the confidence. Yeah? Suddenly, halfway, for example, uh, the they are having problem to sell the house. Only fifty percent sold. Huh? So halfway, they cannot continue with the project. The project is abandoned for private job. Huh? Yeah. Or as they run, maybe the cost goes up. Contractor run away eh? because they give to the lower standard. Suddenly, contractor run away. They want to open a new contractor. They don't have enough money, so abandon. There are a lot of reasons. Eh? Abandon. Eh? Should it be demolished? Uh, the demolition can only done by the owner. So, the if the government want to demolish the the building belong to private sector. Then it involves long legal procedure. Means uh, the government need to confiscate the area first. Issue, uh, issue the notice, blah, 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 blah. Then they have to confiscate the rampas. They have to rampas the area. Then only the government can demolish. 
it's not easy to rampas because to to uh, they call it confiscate confiscate because it is sold to various buyers already many buyers already huh? uh, for this house so that is a problem okay Faham tak? simple explanation i need at least three four hours to explain to you huh? but this is the the simplest thing i can tell you Faham kan? okay Operable job. Okay, Rahimah. Rahimah tu Tayyibah. Faham eh? Okay, ni ada kerja? Estimate is in your book actually, chapter 4. But what I told you is more than what is given in the book. And some of the given the book is not clear. Eh? I don't think you can understand very well. Huh? But for risk analysis, just know it was in the book. And actually, uh, there are posts in US or in Canada, uh, in Australia. They call it estimating engineer. Huh. Very highly paid, huh? because QS cannot do the estimate on certain things. QS can only do estimate on building. Huh. That's why, if you realize, Dr. Nozel only give you building example. Betul tak? Am I right? He's, he's a QS. Huh? Because certain structure, civil structure, does not need QS or architecture input sangat. For example, bridges, road, huh? only engineer understand. Because the estimate is much, much rely, depend on the method of construction. You have to understand how you construct the thing, then only you can do the estimate. For example, you want to construct the bridge, huh? You, it involves the piling in the middle of the river. In the drawing, it's only mentioned the pile and the pile cap. But how you want to construct the pile cap and piling in the river? You need a platoon to bring the piling frame. And then you want to concrete the pile cap, you need the coffer dam, the sheet pile. So that is not in the tender document. It's not, that is not in the drawing. So only engineers who understand how to do it can do the estimate. So that's why they, they have engineer and the estimating engineer. Uh, are you with me, everybody? Okay, any question on this estimate? Remember, I have one more in the next class, feasibility study. I don't want to cloud your mind to get too much information. Any other question, please? If you check Putra Blast, I upload the notes on estimate also. Huh? Next class, we'll talk about feasibility study and evaluation process. Okay, Aziz, semua orang dah sign attendance. Ada berapa orang? We have 47 people uh, attending the class. Aziz, ada berapa orang, Aziz? Okay. Some people didn't. Sign, please sign up now. Uh, last week, those who didn't attend also sign. Lah. After I remind you, now you are, you know, now they become more responsible. Uh, okay. Okay. If there is no other question, can call? Can we call it a day? See you next Tuesday. Boleh? How was the class? You follow the class, okay? Now you understand.
Okay, then uh, see you uh, in the test next week. Uh, test two. Hope you all do well. Uh, especially those who uh, miss uh, the first test. Uh, so we can do some things better. Okay, thank you. Uh. Jumpa lagi semua. Hmm. That's why if you, I want to make sure it is worth for you to listen to my lecture. Uh. Was it kan mau pagi dengan lecture saya? Betul tak? Uh. Okay, uh, next week kita discuss lagi, uh, we sambung uh, on uh, this evaluation. Eh? Okay, uh, thank you and we shall see you again insyaAllah. Assalamualaikum.